Nandapu, whose hearts were one with nature. So much so that the Maharani turned her palace grounds into a magnificent aviary so she could live among the birds. I am a descendant of that queen, and I have returned to become a caretaker of these wonderful winged creatures from places around the world. Now, nature explorers like you come to this place too. That's why my favorite part of each day is when the birds who live here join me in a dance to welcome you. Have any of you ever had a 
great bird adventure before? We did! Yeah. With our bird friend, Kevin. Ah! Who is Kevin? Oh, I do, Misty Bird and Kevin. Yes, I do. <laughs> Talk? A talking dog! With a bird friend. Right. Kevin, does he talk like people too? Oh, no. The bird named Kevin talks like a bird. Oh, and by the way, Kevin is a girl. She is baby birdies. Oh, yes, she does. Um, so what does Kevin look like? I'll show you. A wilderness explorer is always prepared. I have a picture. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Oh, my, that's a big picture. You keep it.
Are you all right, small mailman? At least I don't have to worry about breaking it anymore. I'll find you a new camera. My gift to you. Really? Wilderness Explorer's Honor. Now about that bird. <laughs> uh, smashing food is just one of the behaviors birds learn to survive in the wild. Yeah, and Russell, listen, not all birds act so wild. Yes, there's also birds that live around people, right? Uh -huh. Like there's ducks, <laughs> guinea fowl, swans, <laughs> guinea fowl, <laughs> and songbirds too, yes. right? Cardinals, and grackles, morning doves, oh, and chickens. chickens. Hello, ladies. You gotta love chickens. <laughs> chickens. <laughs> oh, chicken birdies. What? Oh, oh, come here, you chicken oh, birdies. Personalities that make them so lovable. Ah, like parents. They grow on you. Yes, but they are some of the most challenging pets. Yeah, they can bite. And scream. And they poop everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. Maybe not the best roommates. Yes, but some of these birds are so smart that they can mimic what they hear from the world around them. Mm -hmm. Just like yeah. Molly and Gabby. <laughs> oh. We have to show you these two. Thank you so much, Megan. We have two different types of parrots up here. We have a double yellow-headed Amazon parrot and a yellow-naped Amazon parrot as well. Now, for both of these birds would normally be found in uh, the forests of Central America, but these girls here, they've lived around people their entire lives, so they learned to show off their personalities in some pretty fun ways. Hey, girls, do you want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Pretty amazing, pretty amazing. And they can also introduce themselves as well. So we'll see if they'd like to do that. The one on the lower perch there, as soon as she's done with that yummy, yummy Hello. cheese. Hi, that's Molly. Hello. Molly. 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 Yes. And what's your name? Gabriella. Call her Gabby, for short. <laughs> but they still have gotten so close to each other that they act like sisters. Oh, it is so true, so true. They know quite a few different words and phrases all sorts of stuff. So let's see what they want to show off today. What do you girls want to show off? What do you want to do? Do you want to call the kitty? So that's 
for sure. And these two, they really are two in a million. Well, that's true. You know, most parents never even learn to talk, much less talk and sing together. Yeah. I will let you know, too, this is migration season right now, so there are a lot of different birds coming through. So if there's something that they don't recognize, again, nature tells them they are smart enough to stay nice and quiet, for sure. And their eyesight is way better than ours as oh, well. Yes. And, you know, that is one of the challenges with parrots, too. You can't make them do anything they don't want to do. Also, you know, they can live to be over 50 years old. Lifetime commitment. Oh, that is for Sure. <laughs> Chickens everywhere. Be my friend. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please be my friend. <sighs> I am back now from tracking chickens. Did you have fun chasing the chickens? Oh, yes, they were fast. But not as fast as Kevin. She could outrun them. Oh, really? Oh, yes, that bird, Kevin, is much, much faster. And she was bigger, like a dinosaur. But we were never scared. Not once. Oh, no. Oh, no. We were not scared. Not at all. Because we're brave explorers. Nothing scares us. Right, boy? <laughs> well, great. Then you're going to love our next bird. Come on up. Hello. Oh. Ah, a dinosaur. What? Scary birdie. <laughs> Scary birdie. <laughs> Wonderful job out here. You know where you're going, huh? You sure do. We'll see you later. All the way. 
No, no, that was your exit, buddy. You're supposed to go through the doorway. He's out back to clean us. Oh, that's all right, Scott. I think he's just going to go the other way. Oh, there you go. <laughs> all right. Oh, yes, yeah, not that door. That one's closed. You need to go through the open door. Yeah. All right. We'll see you later. That was Fraser Crane. <laughs> Doug. You know, coming up next is my favorite bird. Quite possibly my favorite animal. Look, Kathy. The symbol of pride for the United States of America, the bald eagle. Oh, thank you, everyone. Meet Hope. A bald birdie? Well, Doug, bald eagles aren't actually bald. My cousins in the West have told me so much about these birds. She is so majestic oh, and inspiring. You know, not long ago, the bald eagle was placed on the endangered species list. Then, thanks to conservation efforts, all of us played a part in helping their population to recover. And I am happy to say that the bald eagle is no longer an endangered species. <laughs> from India. A story is told at once. The tail feathers of Moor Peach were dull, but in gratitude for the more protection of the people, the peacock was given his beautiful iridescent feathers. So now, as the national bird of India, the peacock is a symbol of pride, protection, benevolence, joy, and humility. I call this beautiful creature Nabil, which is a very noble name. And not only is Peacock more in Hindi, but more is also the name of my wilderness explorer's lodge. What a beautiful birdie. A very, very beautiful birdie. Wow, this has been a great bird adventure. Well, Russell, did you know there are literally thousands and thousands of bird species all over the world? And you don't even have to go that far to find them. Many can be found in your local parks and even your own backyards. You know, whether it's a Kevin bird, an eagle, an owl, or even a peacock, you'll discover birds and other animals with incredible stories and Chicken birdies and 